And 10 years after Sandy Hook and after so many other mass shootings, what is the state of gun laws in the U.S.? It's an issue that the parents of many Sandy Hook victims have worked on in hopes of preventing more massacres. The morning of December 14th, 2012, would be the last time Nicole Hockley and Mark Barden ever saw their youngest children, six-year-old Dylan Hockley and seven-year-old Daniel Barden. Dylan was this gorgeous little boy with these gigantic blue eyes. He was just an absolute joy. I still can't wrap my head around that it's 10 years. On the last day of Daniel's life, he asked me to show him something on the piano. So I taught him how to play Jingle Bells. That was in uh, the last few hours of his life. Just one month later, they helped launch Sandy Hook Promise, a nonprofit focused on protecting America's children from gun violence. They found an ally in Connecticut Senator Chris Murphy. For me, the last 10 years has been about trying to rattle this country. A new study shows the U.S. has reached its highest number of gun deaths in nearly 30 years, with a recent 20 percent jump. Since Sandy Hook, there have been nearly 4,300 mass shootings, 38 of them at schools. Earlier this year, the Bipartisan Safer Communities Act was signed into law one month after 19 students and two teachers were murdered at the Robb Elementary School in Uvalde, Texas. Senator Murphy has been pushing for change. Find a path forward here. It's the most significant gun-related law in 30 years and includes enhanced background checks for people 18 to 21. It also invests money into mental health resources and red flag laws, which let authorities take guns from people deemed dangerous. It doesn't solve the epidemic, but it saves thousands of lives. For Nicole Hockley, the work is rewarding, but comes with awful reminders. It's helping because it's providing a legacy and impact and change but it's also constantly re-traumatizing. Now, Hockley says through her organization, they've prevented 11 school shootings and hundreds of suicides by training students and educators to report early warning signs of violence.